Good morning, guys. Today we are going to look into how we complete race. Race is what I'm going to ask you to use every single time you answer a writing question. So as you can see up here, I have the question. This should be written in your writing notebook. So I have the question for it. Why did the teacher tell me to use race? That's my question, but you'll have questions today and throughout this week where you have to have a written part that goes with it. So in order to write, I'm going to show you how I expect you to write. So why did the teacher tell me to use race? That first part um, is the R, okay? And when you have the R, it's actually meaning to restate. So I want you to restate the question. To do that, you need to take off the question part and you start with a capital letter. So you can see that I took off that question part, which leaves me with the teacher. And remember to change your verb. So the teacher tell me does not sound right. The teacher told me to use race. because you have now restated the question. So that's the first part with the first R. We also have the A. The A stands for answer. I want you to answer the question, but I want you to do it in your own words. So why did the teacher tell me to use race? That's the question I'm asking. How would you respond in your own words? So your answer could be because we are in fifth grade and it is an expectation. Remember to put the punctuation at the end of this so you restate it and you give me your answer. Okay? We're not quite done yet though. We still have these two letters so the next one actually stands for sight. Sight means that you have to prove it. I'm going to ask you all year long to prove your work. Citing is doing just that. So, the teacher told me to use race because we are in fifth grade and it is an expectation. I know this. You're going to get used to writing these statements. I know this because it says... On page one of my notebook, and I'm going to leave it like that, okay? Because the last part is the explain part. On page one of my notebook, and then I'm going to put, excuse me, I'm going to put the word explain. What does it say on page one of your notebook? So on page one of your notebook, and you put this in quotes. On page one of my notebook, it says on page one of my notebook, we will use race always. And that's a quote because Ms. Shattuck said it. But when you pull a quote from your book, you're going to have to put it in quotation marks. So you can see the quotation marks here. So the last little bit of this that I want to show you is I'm going to, you can't leave it like this. It's too much. It's all apart. So we actually need to put it together. Okay? So at the very bottom, I'm going to put it together. And you just write it that way. The teacher. And I'm going straight from the top. The teacher told me to use race because be because we, and you see I'm on the next one, are in fifth grade and it's an expectation. And always remember to read it back so you know that it makes sense. So you can see I put the period here. So now I'm going to start with the next sentence. I'm going to start right at the end of that one because I have room. I know this because it says 
on page one of my notebook. In quotes, Miss Shattuck said it, so in quotes, we will use race always. Always. Period. End quote. Now you see that I have two actual sentences on this, and because of that, it gives me exactly what I'm looking for. And I'll underline the pieces. So we have the restate. Restate is this. Okay. The answer is this. Okay. I know this because it says this is going to be right here is going to be the citing of your evidence. And the explanation starts right here. So it hits all of the parts that you need. Make sure that you copy this into your notebook. So I did it slowly. You can pause this if you need to. But make sure the information makes it into your writing notebook for today. Thanks, guys, and I'll talk to you later.